Welcome back. This is the Amateur Act. Today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Hotel, California. Hotel Z. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at all this gore. Look at all the gore. My goodness. My goredness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I let myself out. I let myself out. Can I jump on this? No, I can't. You can just walk up this. You what, mate? Can I walk up this? You Not all the way, but like kind of? Bizarre. Get out of here, dudes. Okay, I can't push them over, but these guys can, apparently. Maybe if I bash them. But the, the shooting, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not cutting it. The shooting is not cutting it. Our Pete shooting does not do it. You alive? You're definitely dead. Sounds good to me, dude. I'm panicked right now. I'm tilted. Did you ever, you guys ever get tilted? Like tilted hard on something, because uh, I, I think this happened last week, and I was talking about it, or maybe the week before. I can't remember. But um, you know, I just uh, I have I have like a sneeze or something coming. <laughs> I have a um, like I'll be doing great in uh, in like a boss fight in RuneScape for a while, right? I'll be like, yeah, like this is going pretty good. And then I'll just die all of a sudden, and then I just I can't do it again. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Don't mind me. Just dying. Um So I was killing the, the big spider boss the other day. Yesterday. And I got uh, twelve kills. Like easy. I was I was like breaking my personal records for speed and like you know the the kills are like four minutes each, and I'm like, dude, this is we're doing like we're doing great. Then the 13th kill comes in, and I die, and then it takes me like three hours to get the remaining two kills that I had for the day, and I'm like, what What the heck changed, <laughs> you know? Like all, all of a sudden I went from like four minutes to, to finishing off the entire boss to, to four minutes to get to the last phase of the boss, and I'm like, I just, I have absolutely no idea what I've done. To, to have changed this I don't I don't know what I can do differently like I've just it's like my brain just forgets how to do it you know that happens to me sometimes as I'm as I'm doing things like it can be cooking it could be killing floor two it could be gunfire reborn monster hunter runescape you know anything in my life that I'm doing just sometimes I just I feel like I forget how to do it and no matter how hard I try I just I can't do it like my, my I, I have like it's like my brain has so much capacity for these things, and then once I do it that many times, like, you know, my, my, my brain can only handle 12 Araxer kills on that path every day. And uh, once I'm past that, then it's just like, yep, you can't do anymore. You've, you've, you've hit your limit. You're done. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why, but it, like, it just it feels bad. And I get super hardcore tilted afterwards, because I'm like, no, I should be able to do this. Like, I was just doing, like, records and stuff, and now I just, I can't even do it at all. Like, let alone a record, you know? I don't know, it just, uh, for me, it just... It feels really bad when that happens. Because, like, I feel like I know how to do it. Like, logically, I know. You know like, in my brain, I know, I know how to do it. I, I can tell you the steps. Right? I just, I can't execute them. It's like I just all of a sudden lose the the competency, and I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why it happens, but it's like one of the worst feelings in the world. Cause, cause I'll go from like being good at something, knowing what I'm doing, having confidence, you know, and and then just all of a sudden, I I don't know what to do. I'm not able to do it. I'm I'm completely like not confident in it at all. And uh, that that's you know obviously that that's like part of the of the problem right is that I lose that confidence and um, then I just I can't keep it up because I'm I'm not confident I'm not going into it with the uh, with the the knowledge that I can do it and I, I guess it changes how I handle it I try to be a little bit safer a little bit more careful with things and all of a sudden that 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 ends up wasting time that I could have used to complete the task better you know. Like, it's not necessary for me to be safe like that, but, uh... Glad you made it back. Yeah, I end up doing it anyway. And, uh... Yeah, it's just... It's, it's a really bad feeling when it happens. 
I don't know how to describe it even, because, like, it just... It really just feels like I forget how to do it. Like, 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 like the, the knowledge of what it is is there, but it's just, like, it's my ability to to follow through with it is just gone. Like, there's, like, some kind of, like, mental block that's just stopping me from being able to succeed in it. I don't know why. I don't know why it happens exactly. I know why it keeps happening after it happened. You know, I, I can explain that. You know, I, I obviously, like, I keep spiraling into more and more, like, negativity about it and and that that affects my my ability to do it obviously right but you know, whatever whatever it is cooking kf2 runescape gunfire whatever it is i uh, i get tilted and uh i can't untilt myself i don't know why but it, it happens on occasion and uh, i guess i guess what happens is i make a mistake and then i start to lose a little bit of confidence and then, and then I just I continue to to lose that confidence that I had, and and all of a sudden I, I'm not confident anymore, and I can't I can't handle it. I can't do it anymore. You know, like like I've said before, having a positive outlook on things is important for for being successful. And so once you lose that, you give up on on being successful. You know, you got to work on that that outlook of yours, and 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 get yourself back into the the swing of things. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes sometimes. Which is okay, you know, it's fine. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know, it really feels bad though. And it happened the other day, yesterday. And it just, it uh, really brought me down, you know? It really does. But it's okay, you know. It's it's fine. At the end of the day, it's a game. You know, I'll I'll be able to do it today when I when I go back to play some more RuneScape today. I'll I'll be able to kill the boss just fine. I know that. I'm confident, and so it will happen. You know, I'm, I'm I know that I know what I'm doing, and uh, I'll be able to I'll be able to handle that kind of responsibility. I'll be able to shoulder that kind of responsibility. But um, my voice is going. It's not actually going. It was just uh, water or something that got like kind of stuck in my stroke or something? I don't know. Anyway, I'm really tired today. I woke up early. I got up at uh, 9 a.m. I wanted to get up at 10. I went to bed at like 2.30 or whatever. Uh, perfectly fine for getting up at 10. For getting up at 9, not super great. Um, so I wanted to get up at 10. Because uh, when I get up at 10... Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck is happening? Um, when I get up at 10... Um... That, 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 that's an extra hour of sleep, which is like, I don't know, it's just, it, it works better for me. I guess that's like REM cycles or whatever. They happen to line up when I go to bed at 2.30 and wake up at 10. For, for me, it just, it happens to line up and I feel good when I wake up. Um, when I wake up at 9, I don't. And, uh, but I woke up at 9. I had to, I had to use the washroom really bad. So I ended up, uh, having to like get up. Like normally when I wake up at 9, I go back to bed, I get my extra hour of sleep and I feel good about it still. Well, mostly, but I, I feel fine-ish. Rested enough to be able to, to get through the day, but today I had, to, I had to use the washroom just so badly. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to get up and use the washroom. Then I was up and like, yeah. like whatever. I'll just I'll get to recording. Okay, you can't be flashing, okay? No more flashing, okay? Hey, I like to keep the flash into a minimum. I mean, I don't have uh, I don't have any issues with seizures or anything like that. I know that some of my viewers might, um, but the main thing for me, it's just unple. You know, I actually don't like the brightness either. <laughs> Can I not break this one? Is this one unbreakable? It may very well be. Maybe I have to use a more powerful weapon to break through it. I don't know. I do see the other one is over up or something. Nah. Just, uh, I guess it has like a certain amount of health. And the, the 9 mil just doesn't do quite enough damage to make it super good to kill it with. Something like that. I don't know. Can I break this thing? No. 
You guys ever seen sound designers? I think they're called Foley artists or something like that. Um, but they make like uh, you know, the sounds of shooting, the sounds of the bullets hitting stuff. You know, they work on all those sound effects to make the game sound good. And uh, if you ever have you ever seen like a Foley artist, I think they're called, working on making some 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 new sound effects. The the things that they do are just insane to get the these sound effects like smashing blocks of ice to make sound effects for Monster Hunter World. Um, you know they'll they'll you know for for the the sound of something in Star Wars, the dude went out in like a car and and turned off the engine and then let it fall down a hill while he recorded the wheels. Um, like it's just uh, what what uh, what people do to get certain sound effects is incredible. It's an incredibly creative job. It's a very demanding job, I'm sure, as it does it does demand a high degree of creativity and, and consistency, which is uh, I, I'm I'm sure quite a, a stressor. But um, it's it's a really impressive work that they do sometimes. If you guys haven't looked it up, then like definitely do. Okay, if you guys haven't looked. If you haven't seen videos of uh, of like foley artists, sound designers making making sound effects, like definitely definitely like look that up because it's 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 a really really impressive thing that they do. It's a highly highly creative uh, environment to be working in, and uh, I have a lot of respect for that. Anyway, I was thinking of the uh, the sound effects of the bullets and stuff bouncing off of uh, and ricocheting around here, and uh, I was reminded of it. And uh, yeah, it is it is just a, an incredibly impressive job, incredibly so. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't really uh, respect the uh, the sound design that goes into video games, movies, you know, media of any variety. A lot of people don't respect it. Don't give it the res the the respect that it deserves um, I'm feeling generous but it's uh, it makes like you, you you know you take away the the good sound effects in a movie or something like that and it's, it's not gonna be as good you know it, that's what breathes life into it you know and uh, there, there's a certain appreciation I have for uh, for the people who do that for sure it's a really really it's it's just it's an important job and it's underappreciated in my opinion. Highly underappreciated. Voice actors, not highly underappreciated. Also, like generally speaking, not that good. I don't really like voice acting in uh, in most stuff usually. It's bad. <laughs> like I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you're a voice actor. You know, like I I, I you're doing a like the the voice actors are doing a great job of uh, of making the voice that the directors want. You know what I mean? It's just that the directors don't want a voice that's any good. I guess it's the director's fault. So it's really the, the, the fault of society as a whole. I, uh, I, I don't, like, I don't know. I, I can go on a rant on this for, for hours, but uh, I just kind of like the, the whole, like, fake voices in, in cartoons and anime and stuff like that. Trying, trying to make a voice that, uh, that fits the character, and then you have, like, just, just this dumb voice that just doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't, I don't like it so much. I like my voice is to sound like real people. But that's not entertaining, right? Like the, the, like half the entertainment of, uh, of these things is from the funny voices that, uh, that people do, I guess. And it's really prominent in like anime, for me personally. I mean, that's that's most of the media that I watch, that isn't um, commentary and stuff like games and whatnot. Um, but uh, it's really prominent in anime because. You have like girls, right? And and their voices are just like, oh my god! And I'm like, dude, nobody sounds like this. Yeah, you know, they they don't like hire children to voice the the the, the, the children. In um. In anime, they hire fully grown women or men, and uh, they tell them to do their best like two year old's voice. And I'm like, okay, you just sound dumb, <laughs> you know? Like you're doing a great job of sounding dumb. It's just that your goal is to sound dumb, oh, yeah. and you did it. <laughs> Congratulations. 
I just, uh, I don't like it so much. You go away. How many bullets do I have to fire into this for it to die? Holy cow. What the heck, man. Yeah, it's less bullets with this. I guess it is like a damage thing. Hello. Nice to meet you, bud. You too. Um, yeah, it just sounds dumb, and I just hate it. But uh, that's, that's that's what I have against uh, voice actors and stuff. It's not necessarily the actors themselves are doing a bad job. I just don't like the voices that uh, that are prevalent in, in so much animated media. You know, it's like uh, you you get you get people acting right, like proper actors in movies and stuff, and their voices are fairly exaggerated and stuff. But like, by and large, normal. <laughs> you know, like by and large, actors in movies, like live action stuff, their voices tend to be fairly normal. But you put like cartoon or anime or any kind of animated media over top of it and it's, it's voice acting now and all of a sudden the voices have to be goofy and I just I don't get it I don't like it like can you just get the same people who did the normal acting to just do normal voices here so I, just, I don't I don't get the the whole appeal of the the whole super fake super annoying voices I don't get it but the Foley artists they're doing a good job they're underappreciated and some some voices like I'm a hypocrite, okay? okay? Well, welcome to the real world. I'm a hypocrite. Everybody's a hypocrite. I uh, some voices, some voice actors I actually really really like, but they do have goofy voices still. And I just I don't I don't know why uh, why sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. But I just I like what I like and I don't like what I don't like. And that's just that's the way I am. That's just who I am as as a person. They can't find me from over here. To my me just spinning around on the chair. It's moments like these that really make you realize that, yeah, this is a game, dude. I mean, obviously it's a game. Like, duh. But, like, you're just kind of, like, crouching on the chair and just spinning around. I'm like, yeah, okay, there's, uh, there's a certain degree of, uh, of, uh, of, of realism that's kind of lost here <laughs> that, uh, the physics aren't quite working out to be uh, how you'd expect them. I mean, actually, it works out to be how you'd expect it to be, considering that it is a game, but not considering that it isn't a game. Because it is a game, and you wouldn't consider that it isn't a game. Look, it, it just uh, spinning around on a chair just it, it may, it really makes you, it really drives home the point that um, you know, as as good as we can be to make Zed's head explode, we just can't make people sit in chairs. It's actually quite hard to make people sit in a chair in a game like this. It's like implement that. Like that would be that would be like a lot of work actually. It's not like I, I guess it's not hard relative to like other animations. It's just that in the first place, those animations are hard to do and skillful and take time and money and resources. And uh, you know why why put that into sitting down on a chair? Well, because it would be pretty cool to be able to sit down on a chair. Okay? I just want to be able to sit right here, okay? No. Somehow I think I got bumped or something and I, I, my, my cursor went up a little bit. I'm not blaming, look, blame the controller. BTC. I'll always blame the controller. I'm not even using a controller, I'm using a mouse and keyboard. Precision. Oh, we got one of these boys. Hey buddy. Come see me. The hey buddy. <laughs> I have hiccups. I have these hiccups, yo. Really inconvenient. Really super highly inconvenient. <laughs> Bring up the trading controls and upgrade your gear. I laugh a lot. I think, it's, I think it's important to laugh a lot, personally. Yeah, if you're not laughing, you're crying. Those are, those are the only two states that matter. Crying, laughing. So if I'm not laughing, probably crying inside. <laughs> no, I don't uh, I don't cry that much. That's a lie, actually. I cry all the time, but not about things that are important. 
There's nothing important in my life that makes me want to cry. It's all just garbage. I'll cry at anything. Told you about the story. I, I accidentally killed a baby moth and then cried. I still cry about it from time to time when I think about it. Makes me sad. I'm very, it's very easy to make me cry. You just tell me like a sad story. And like tears, tears will come up. As long as I'm invested, you know, sometimes it's not a right time to cry and I just won't get invested in the thing. I can I can turn on and off my emotional investment into things, like at will. It doesn't, it doesn't like it's not it's not a thing that um, happens naturally for me, you know? The, my natural state of matter, uh, my natural state of mind is to, to not be emotionally invested in things. So, so when I see something, I'm like, yep, that thing doesn't matter to me. It's not until I make the, the conscious decision to decide to be emotionally invested that uh, it begins to matter to me, personally. Because I am emotionally distant. Or something, I don't know. I think, my, I think my counselor said that I was emotionally detached or something. I don't know. I think she was a quack doctor. No, actually, she was, uh, she was great. I didn't appreciate her enough. Growing up, you know, you got uh, you got people that help you when you're growing up, and you never think that they're actually helping you. Little do you know that uh, that they're changing your life, man. Your teachers, your counselors, your parents. Well, at least one of those people is going to to be helping you. For me, definitely my uh, my counselor. Teachers, not so much. Teachers were very, very highly counterproductive. Parents were mostly neutral or, or possibly counterproductive. But the counselor that I had was uh, was definitely extremely, extremely helpful to me. And I never liked her, you know. Growing up, I never liked her. I always thought that she was a quack. I thought she was a hippie. I thought she was. Uh, I didn't like her. And, uh, I mean, I realize now that a lot of how I live my life is, is based on things that she taught me, and, and, uh, got, like, gunk in my eyes. God. Whereas a lot of what I, uh, what I know today is it's just based on what she taught me. Um, like, even just, like, down to, to simple things, like, how to recognize when somebody's happy. I, like, that's that's entirely, like, shouldered on, on her there. Like, I, w I wouldn't be able to do that if not for her. And, uh, as, as a kid, I definitely thought that she was useless and, you know, provided me of no benefit whatsoever. And as an adult, I, I'm able to look back on it and be like, wow, child me, you're dumb. <laughs> you're really dumb. Because this is, like, the most useful thing you can possibly do right now. I don't really get to go anywhere. I don't, it's not I was paid for as a child because I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm on like the whole disability thing and we got uh, we got money paid for for counseling and stuff so that I can learn how to be a productive member of society. And um, I don't really get to pay for anything. I don't really need it anymore either. That was the other thing. Like as a child, I definitely required it. As as an adult, it's it's definitely not super necessary for me. Um, therapy maybe. Could be, could be good, but I don't know. I think, I think I'm past the point in my life where I, uh, where I need that kind of help. Um, but you know, every, maybe everybody can go with a little bit of therapy, right? A little therapy. Uh, I'm not gonna say never hurt nobody, but like, it's not really the point of it, you know. But the point of therapy is to specifically not hurt <laughs> so but uh, anyway yeah I've uh, something something counselors you know I mean, if, even if I I didn't I didn't realize that I was being helped so much as a child and looking back on it I just I, I feel like I'm such an idiot sometimes you know it's not like I keep myself up at night it's not like tra traumatic it doesn't interrupt my thoughts but I look back on it and I'm like dang you I was big dumb. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.